Let's talk about the Android Mobilize application. This is what the icon looks like. You could tap on it to open. You'll have to log in first, but once you've logged in, this is what your dashboard should look like. So the first thing that we're going to want to do is add a campaign. So tap on campaigns to add one. You'll notice that you don't have any on your phone right now, but you can tap the plus button to add a new one. You should see a few campaigns here, uh, depending on what your class is doing. Let's just add snack as a tutorial campaign. You could press the download button to add it. Now if you hit the back button on Android, you'll notice that under the My Campaign screen, you have Snack now. Let's tap on Surveys. So you should see the available surveys that you have to take. You can either get some information about the survey by tapping on it, or you can just start the survey by tapping the pencil. So now you'll answer the questions here. You can use the plus or minus to change the numbers, or you can actually tap it and enter your own number. You could press the pic you could take a picture by t pressing the camera button. You could snap the picture then, and either retake it or use it. Finally, you can go back to any other question by pressing the previous button. But once you press the submit button, your survey will be finalized and you won't be able to change it. It'll take you back to the surveys page once you're done. Let's go to the upload queue. You can see that we have a survey now to upload. The surveys will upload automatically in about 15 minutes, but if you would like to upload one manually, you could see the pending uploads here. You can upload them all by pressing the button, or you can upload each one individually by pressing the upload button next to that survey. It's uploaded now. Let's take a look at the response history. This will show you the history of responses. Uh, and it'll start in the calendar view. You can actually skip back a month or forward a month as you wish. And then you can tap on an exact date to see surveys that you've taken on that date. We've taken three here, but let's look at the one that we, that we took most recently. You could tap on it for all of the answers that you've answered. And you can even look at the picture there. Tap the Android back button to get back to that page. And then once more to get back to the calendar view, because you can also look at it in a map view. This will show you on the map where your surveys are and put, and put flags at each location where you took a survey. You could pinch and zoom if you'd like, just like Google Maps. You can also tap on a flag to get a bit more information about it. Tap the Android home button, and then you can go to the help section. The help section gives you some good information about getting help in the application if you need it. If you tap on Profile, you'll be able to update your password or log out and wipe your phone. That'll be necessary if you're sharing a phone with a partner. Let's just tap Log Out and Wipe Data, and you can see that it does ask you to confirm this before you do so. We'll hit Cancel for now. Let's go back home. The last thing we want to talk about is reminders. Tap on Surveys, and now for each survey that you have to take, if you tap on the, the survey itself, you can see that you don't have any reminders configured. You can add a new reminder by tapping on the Alarm button. You'll see you don't have any right now, so let's press the, press the plus button. You can create two different types of reminders. One is a time reminder, one is a location reminder. Let's, try, let's start with the time reminder. You could set to be reminded to take the survey at any time and or you could set a time range so that you'll be reminded randomly between these two times. This is great if you snack around the same time every day, so you can change those as needed. When you're done and you're happy with your selection, you can just press the Done button. Now let's add a location reminder. Press the plus button and select Location Reminder. You'll need to set a reminder location. We have a couple preset names for you home and work, but you'll need to actually press manage locations to set a location for one of those. Let's set a home location. Tap on home. And this will give you some more information on adding a location if you'd like it. This works best if you're actually in the location where you are, but uh, perhaps we'll just scroll down and you can 
find your home. And actually, once, you, once you've done that, just press and hold and tap add this location. It'll drop a flag now where it thinks your home is. Tap done when you've done when you're done adding location and now you have a location on the map for home. You can also add a new place if you'd like. Now select the reminder location. And you can also you can also choose a time range if you'd only like to be reminded when you're at that location within a certain time range, such as when you arrive at school each morning. Note there are some other settings, such as minimum reentry re -entry interval, so that you won't be reminded more than once every two hours, even if you leave and re-enter the same location. When you're done, tap Done. That's all the information about the mobilized Android app I have to show you today. Thanks.